We would do that. We just click on this butcher knife. Finally read it, and let's see what it says. No, don't conduct an orchestra. Read this butcher's knife. Hmm. That ticking's freaking me out. I don't like where this is going. That freaking nut saw, man. Welcome to the final nightmare. Oh, nervous. Very, very dreadfully nervous I had been and am. But why do people say that I am mad? Hmm. Look around the room. I do have to wonder. I have to wonder what's going on with me, to be honest. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna go to my room and mull this over. I don't know exactly why this guy freaks me out, but he does. Maybe if I draw something, it'll help. Hmm. It was very small, I just realized. Hmm. Glasses. How has this idea entered my brain? It haunts me day and Why do I want him dead, exactly? There's gotta be a reason. I mean, he's a good guy. I don't like him. Kinda cool. Makes pretty good soup. sit down and chill with you for a while. I don't exactly know what's up with me. Hmm. You look as though you could use some hot soup. Believe me, dude, I could. Soup sounds delicious right now, and you make some awesome soup, so... Oddly textured soup. The best of all soups. What indeed?
Hmm. Odd. You don't want your soup? It's cooling. Uh, I'm not hungry, thanks. Not hungry at all. I, I, I'm gonna go look out the window instead. Hmm. Yeah. Pretty much is. Good night, young man. All right. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Have a have a good have a good rest, you know. Well, he's in bed now. Maybe I can actually get rid of him and his freaky eyeball. What time is it? Hmm. The drums, Doctor. Can you stop the drums? He's close to midnight. Hmm. Maybe I should check in on him just to be sure. Hmm. Let's leave him alone. He's sleeping. Hmm. Put it down. Let's see. See what time it is now. Still close to midnight. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to, uh, how to do it. Stop going back and forth. I want you to go by the door. Yeah, that way. the window now and see. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. Daytime again. Nighttime again. to bed again? Good night. Yeah, good night. It's pretty dang late. Might as well go to bed. That time is a good time to sleep, I find.
That time is a very good time to sleep. What time is it? Midnight. Time to finally get him. Let's see if... We're gonna have to be careful. Pick up the lantern. Find time to get rid of that guy in his creepy eye for once and for all. Guys, there isn't any going back now. Our victim is scared. Not time to go in for the kill. Poor old man. He's been lying awake ever since that first noise. His fears growing, trying to fancy the causeless, but he cannot. Because death, stalking with his black shadow before him as he fell on the victim. Man, we got some problems. <laughs> Is he all right? Are we all right? Oh, watch another little thing. Hello. What's that? My God, his heart beat. He must be terrified. But wouldn't you be? His heart will burst. Surely it will burst. What if... What if a neighbor should hear it? Gotta stop the noise. It's too loud. sound. Dead. Still dead. Will vex me no more. Finally we're at peace. Hopefully. Uh, what shall I do with the body? Hmm. There's got to be something we can do to get rid of this body, you know? I mean, aha, uh -huh. maybe if we chop up the pieces and hide them, nobody will ever find them. Well, until they start to rot, I guess, but... Ooh. The blood is dripping down it. Dripping bloody saw. Wow. Creepy. 
Well, we might as well dispose of the body parts, right? Otherwise, we're gonna be in trouble if somebody finds him, goes looking for this old guy. So, let's go dispose of these body parts. No, look down. Look at the body. His bureau. Oh. Hello. Uh, well. Maybe, maybe we should, uh, hide these, eh? Ah. Yeah, we can just hide it under the floorboards. Great idea. Nobody will ever, ever suspect. I mean, look at how much room there is down there. We can just stuff them all in there. Nobody will ever know it's in there. I mean, <laughs> it's not the cops are going to come looking for him or anything. I mean, nobody knows this old guy. He's a random old guy. Right? Nobody's going to come looking for him. I find it astonishing that that blood did not leak out onto the floor at all. Just standing there. Just sitting there in the bag. Did the burlap soak all of it up? Because I find that kind of hard to believe. Let's just, uh... Finish disposing of these body parts here. There we go. No blood spot whatever. All has been caught in a tub. <laughs> Dude, you sat him in a tub and cut his arms and legs off. Oh, here's the door. Let's go open the door and uh say hi to whoever this is. Nobody shall figure out our plan. We've cleaned up everything. Hello. Oh, hi. Uh, sorry to disturb you, sir, but somebody or other heard a scream or some such. Called us up. We've got to check these things out. What are you doing awake at this hour? That'll do, Finley. Hmm. All right, well... Why don't you guys come in? Do come in, please, do. Well, what about the scream, Sarge? Oh, the scream, sir. What do you know about anything like that? Hmm. What do I know about a scream? Nothing. That was I, Sergeant. I called out in a nightmare. I'm given to nervous fits. A gentle man like yourself. Well, what about the old man who lives here? Finley! Gone to the country. Lucky man. Well, he has gone to the country in the sense that he's in, uh, put out to pasture, I guess, but... Might we be looking about a bit? Of course, certainly. Oh, there's Lee Min. Search. Hmm. So they're gonna go search around a little bit. What a nice cop this dude is, this, uh, apparently Irish cop. I'm gonna go to the old man's room just a bit. Check over there. The stove as well. Yes, sir. They're not even gonna find anything. The police in the Victorian era didn't have you DNA tests. To look into the old man's room. Yes, look particularly here. In here, boys. Watch it. Sorry. <laughs> sit, sit. All of you, do. Don't mind if I do. 
Hmm. Terribly sorry about that, guys. Uh, Dark Eye decided to mess up on me just a bit. Let's hope it doesn't do it again. So I, I actually deleted all of my data, and I had to go back and redo The Old Man's Dream and Annabelle Lee and all of this dream to get to this point. So, <sighs> the suffering I go through for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Now, let's just wait for them to finish uh, cross-fading into the room so we can talk with them. Now, let's see what this cop here has to say. Do 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 What's up with you, dude? Come on. Read, read, read. Of course, they don't suspect me. My manner has a switch them. Mm. Indeed, they are delightful fellows. Hmm. Sure are. After all, they could never suspect us, right? It's been a long day. Sure has. Hmm. Let me just make sure everybody has been seated here. He keeps his treasure in that drawer there. Not much of a treasure, but... Hmm. Oh, it's a lovely night, too. The stars are out in all their glory. It hasn't been disturbed, sir. Well... Everything seems to be in order. Don't go. No, stay. Stay a moment. Rest yourselves from your various fatigues. They'll never know the difference, especially where we're sitting right now. Huh. What? They're judging eyes. They're judging eyes. Oh my! No, oh, that was some nightmare, guys. Thank God we're going back to reality, right? Right? We are going back to reality. Ah! No, this isn't reality! I've got to run. I've got to get out of here. I have to find the way back to sanity. This is crazy. This can't be possibly real. These dreams are not mine. These dreams are not mine. For me, the celebration has just begun. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. No. No! No, please! 
Oh my god. Uncle Edwin? I'm alive, Uncle! I'm alive! Oh my god. She caught her eyes out. Welcome to Madness, guys. Population, just you and the crazy voices in your head. And that, right there, is the end of The Dark Eye. Oh, you can see the blood on your hands. Creepy. Well, everybody, hope you guys have a great Halloween. I'm sorry about my phone ringing in the background there, but, uh... There's really nothing else I can do about that. This was, this is a game, not even really a game, but a game you guys really should check out if you're a fan of uh, Edgar Allan Poe's work and uh, really like a good, sc scary, phantasmagoric story for Halloween. It's kind of hard to find this game, but it is more than worth it. Signing off, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. See you later. Sweet dreams. <laughs>